Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Angie. In today's video, we will be going through my daughter's clothes, putting away anything that no longer fits her. This is something that I have been meaning to do for months now, but procrastination, which is one of my biggest struggles, has not let me be great. Well, I have finally worked up the motivation to do this task, and because I find it tedious and boring, I figured that you and I could have a raw and honest chat about motherhood and the various reasons why I regret it while I am sorting out these clothes. So, I unfortunately had to interrupt the making of this video because motherhood came calling, if I can put it that way. Basically, I had to attend to my little one and um, after that, tiredness caught up with me, so I gave up for the day. So this is the day after, Sunday afternoon after church service. We can get started with our sorting and our chit chat. So, as I was saying yesterday, I would like to have a brief raw chat with you all and tell you why I sometimes regret motherhood and feel like it is a scam, a big time scam. For many years, I told myself and anyone who asked that I did not want to have children because I felt like I would not be the best mom and would most likely run my house like a military camp. And during that season, I would often hear things like, it's selfish not to want children. If your mom had thought that way, you wouldn't be here. You are saying that you don't want children now because you are still young. Wait till you get older, you will start having baby fever. Or again, motherhood is a wonderful experience. Or don't worry, when you have your own child, you'll become more patient. I am sure I'm not the only woman who is uncertain about her plans for motherhood or who has expressed a clear lack of desire to have children, to have heard or been told similar statements. As for me, along the way, I gave my life to Christ and the desire to have children came though i still questioned my abilities to make a good mom or to be a good mom fast forward to some years ago i witnessed the birth of a friend's child and it was such a beautiful moment to me that um, i decided on that day that i definitely was going to have at least one kid well, in 2018, I finally welcomed my own beautiful little lady to the glory of God. But now, since then, all the apprehensions I had became a reality. I am three years into this motherhood journey and the dose of patience needed to handle a kid still eludes me having a child of my own did not miraculously increase my patience like people would tell me some years ago you know there are some days when i'm filled with regrets and then of course you know i feel guilty for even having those regrets you know i just want to share with you some of the reasons why I am sometimes 
filled with regrets. One of the reason or the first reason why I know I sometimes feel regret is that as a mom, I have much less freedom. You know, I used to be the type of person who would just hop in the car on a bus or on a plane, you know, on a whim. If I felt like I needed a change of scenery and of course, if I had the finances to do so. But now as a mom, any movement, whether locally or out of my state, requires a lot of planning, you know, because I have the responsibility of another human being who depends on me. So yes, sometimes it can feel frustrating to feel like you are tied down and you are not free of your own movements. Another reason why I feel regrets sometimes is that motherhood is exhausting emotionally and mentally. At least it is for me. I don't know about other women, but for me, I find motherhood to be truly exhausting. You know, I'm not a naturally patient person. As anyone who is a mother would tell you, motherhood requires a heavy dose of patience. And with a toddler in particular, the level of patience you need is even greater because you find that you have to repeat yourself quite often. And to me, that is mentally tasking to be honest you know and having a child is like playing the lottery you have no idea the type of child you will have me i landed myself a beautiful little girl but who is prone to the most massive tantrums and outbursts as well as very very lengthy crying sessions and for me, unnecessary tears just make me so angry and exhaust me. And sometimes, you know, I feel like my head will explode or my heart will just burst from anger. You know, I long for those days when I enjoy daily peace and quiet. I mean... I enjoy noise in, in a lively atmosphere, you know, as well, but I liked, you know, having the option to retreat to silence if and when I need to, you know, I miss just thinking about me doing things when I felt like it and not doing them when I didn't feel like it. I remember as a single person. You know, no husband, no kids. I would sometimes go months without putting a pot on the stove top because I would eat out. You know, I would just have no, you know, no obligation, no requirements to take care of anybody else but myself. You know, and I just miss, you know, things being all about me. And I know that it may be selfish, but the truth is, sometimes a little selfishness is needed for your mental and emotional health. If we don't prioritize ourselves every now and then, then we become drained and then we have nothing left to offer the people around us. I just feel like overall, you know, sometimes it's like motherhood does not really jive with my personality and my natural tendencies, you know, just like I, f I feared would be the case, you know, years ago. And unfortunately, I come from a culture where people judge and shame you for not fitting into what is felt to be the typical 
aka normal definition of motherhood or should I say womanhood and you know as they define womanhood they include motherhood as part of that definition of womanhood except that I don't believe that motherhood defines who you are as a woman you know and people try to force you and even bully you you know into fitting into their norms and their mold people feel like they know you more than you know yourself and they cannot fathom that you think differently that you don't aspire you know to be what they think you should aspire to be as a woman and specifically as a woman of african origin you know motherhood has taken me into some of the darkest places i have ever been you know i have used curse words i have never used before even as an unbeliever i have probably cried more tears than i have ever cried before i was a mom i have felt more hopeless than i have ever felt and i've had gloomier thoughts than i probably have ever had you know so yes some days i do heavily regret motherhood as bad as that may sound to some of you watching me and no these feelings of regret are not always fleeting sometimes they linger you know for days and it's scary and it's paradoxical because on most days my heart is so full of joy and love for my child that it could burst but on other days the anger and regrets are overwhelming but then you know at the end of the day the truth of the matter is i chose to have this child nobody forced me and i know for a fact that this child is a blessing from god even though my emotions may sometimes betray me i believe that what these struggles and moments of regrets are meant to do is draw me nearer to god and remind me that i am meant to depend on him the way my child is dependent upon me that said i think it's important that as people of african origin that we normalize the fact that motherhood is not for everybody and that it's okay not to want children that it's okay to talk about our struggles with motherhood no matter how ugly they are or no matter how uncomfortable they may make others not everyone will have a blissful experience with motherhood and for some women you know the regrets and the negative emotions may outweigh the positive aspects of motherhood and that's okay we should create safe spaces for women to share their true and honest feelings and experiences because doing so can help them feel better and it, it can help them heal and you know if you feel like there is something wrong with someone with a woman hating motherhood please you know just pray for them just pray for her because what women like me need is god we need god more than we need your bashing so instead of bashing instead of criticizing please just pray for us you know let's stop policing people's wounds and let's stop trying to censor or silence people's experiences You know, I would love for us to continue the conversation in the comment section. 
so please you know let me know in the comments what you think of this topic can you relate you know how has your experience been as a mother has it been a walk in the park have you been you know struggling you know or you know just share in the comment section you know let's have honest conversation because i think it's important you know to be okay with not being okay as i said in my intro video it's okay not to have it all together just yet so this is it like i said it was a quick chat um i hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll be able to take away one or two things from it if you have enjoyed it please don't forget to like and comment please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for more videos on food motherhood slash womanhood organization and a sprinkle of faith my name is angie thank you for watching and until next time god bless you and see you later